going to be tying a snipe in purple. Uh, basically, the snipe in purple is a traditional, tra traditional, wet or soft tackle fly for the river. Uh, it's a classic dressing that was it's got many many years in it. It's been uh, fished in the UK especially for a long long time and uh, and fished around the world, especially where there's trout in the river. An excellent dressing for early season for me, especially when the iron blues are coming off and it works extremely well. Now, to tie this night in purple, what you'll need is a gossamer thread, and you're obviously in purple, and basically not much more than one of the covert feathers here from the snipe and this is the wing. This is just off the elbow. The ones I like to use are these ones here which have the light tips and as you see I've pulled one out just to give you an idea of the area where I'm taking it from. There is some flies that you can use these feathers, the inner feather of the wing which actually for other soft tackled flies or weights that you can tie. Now hook I'm going to be using. I would say it's one of my favourite sizes, size 14. When you, I mean, the snipe and purple will represent a few flies coming off. In the early season, some of the duns, the olives and stuff that's coming off, the iron blues, things like that, this works extremely well. And uh, depends on the light. Light conditions times, I find the snipe and purple works extremely well. It does represent certain uh, species of flies. But it's a, it's a great all-round fly to have in your box. Now, what I've done here is I've put some of the gossamer silk onto a bigger spool to suit the bobbins that I'm, the bobbin holders that I'm using. Now, the first thing you've got to do is get basically a hard cobbler's wax, moist or soften it between your fingers. It's a sticky wax, hard wax, and wax your thread. Just run. Pull off maybe a yard, no, not a yard, so a couple of feet of thread and run it through your fingers and through the wax. And that is plenty to, to tie maybe two or three flies. Just spill it back onto the bobbin. Now you simply start at the eye, and touch and turns, wind your silk, forming your body down until maybe a turn, two turns from point of the hook, break or cut away the waist piece and then put that couple of turns in that reaches the point which tidies up the back. Now I have various variants of this fly where I have moles fur as a dub body, even hairs, hairs ear which just gives a different sort of shape and colour to the fly because it's so good a, a classic wet variations from that it certainly does work but you always must have these in your box, the traditional or the, the original dressing. Now you, you can touch and turns wind up or sometimes what I like to do is rib the body with the silk which gives a slightly different effect. Just gives it a sort of more segmented body for all the, for all it is, but it does make a difference sometimes. But I'm just gonna touch and turns, bring the thread back up. Obviously using the thread to form the body. To get to this point, around about one millimeter from the eye. Now get your snipe wing or snipe covert feather. Take it off. Now you can make these flies really, really sparse. But I've caught one sparse versions with a single turn, two or three turns. It's certainly worth having. A variety of heavy or how heavy you want to dress this fly as well. I would have flies with a single turn when I mean, the fish are a wee bit picky. Faster water, so you can get away with a slightly a couple more turns, and the fish seem to find them better. But anyway, what I do, tie it in by the tip, but to find the tip, get a small pair of hackle pliers and then pull back the fibres. Once I've done that, trim, 
Catch this onto the side of the hook. Pull it in lightly. Take your thread turns down. Bring them back up. So about three, three or four turns, or three turns down and a couple of turns back up. Get your hackle pliers. It's a very light, very delicate hackle. Basically then what you do is fold back the fibres so that they're lying back that you would, that you would, this is what you're looking for in a wet fly. Now there's a single turn of hackle. Basically you, that is sometimes enough. Honestly, lightly lay dressed is the best sometimes. Now that's a turn and a half or so. Come in. I just bring the hackle across the thread. Much like a ninth degree bend into the actual hackle stem. The thread turns down. Let this go. You can fold this back and bring your thread turns back up. You can break away the waste. Now you can either, you can wax it, you can either varnish the tie off and varnish, or what I like to do in these flies is put more wax onto the, the thread with wet finish, and then you'll not need to varnish the head. Sometimes I don't like to do that. Nice and tight. The wax will cause cause it to stick. The fly lasts just as long. Trim away the waste. And that there is a very simple and very effective fly called the snipe and purple. Fly basically should always have in your box if you want to go wet fly fishing in the rivers.